Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and let's go over the trailer that was released at Comic-Con for The Walking Dead Season 11 a little bit, flesh out some of the details. Let's look at this first little tidbit. It's definitely got a lot of people asking and coming up with some theories. Who is this that gets bit? From the look of the knife, the sleeve kind of rolled up, the strap on the jacket, kind of maybe a backpack or something they're wearing. It's hard to tell who it is. Can't really tell who it is. Um, is Maggie being dragged away by Negan? Was Maggie going to go help this person? Is it a good guy? One of Maggie's people. And does this frame relate to it all? You know, the person they're carrying into the mall that's injured, is that the person that got bit? Maybe somebody else. It kind of looks like Alden. But I don't think that's Alden that got bit. And I thought maybe this shot right here was the same knife, the same person... But the knife handle's different, so this shot does not relate to the one that uh, person that's getting bit. But it definitely could be a reaper. Reapers don't usually have their sleeve up, but neither do our people. The only um, instance I could catch somebody maybe with their sleeve up more so in the trailer or some promo photos is when this person was walking through the subway car shooting a pistol at some walkers. But the mystery is still out there about who is this that gets bit. And usually it's just like a red herring type thing. It's usually, you know, it's going to be a reaper. It's not any one of our people. And they just want us to maybe think that and theorize that. But no clues that I could find as to who it is for sure. Definitely a lot of theories out there. Some say Cole. Some say Alden. Some say different things. But um, I don't think it's Cole. Now that I've looked at stuff, I don't think it's Alden. We'll just have to wait and see. And on to the cool part, Leah is a Reaper, and it's, um, I think, undeniable. Uh, we see her and Dog standing there. You see the mask. It's kind of like a red mask with a white line down the middle. And here's a close-up of it. So we see her. That's her mask. Um, Dog is around her. We see her several times, like in this shot with a fire. That might be her feet. Um, I've heard that people think it may be Connie's feet. It definitely doesn't look like Daryl's feet even though Daryl's standing in front of the fire in this shot, I'm thinking, you know, what if it was Leah's feet? Um, the person has tight pants on. It looks like Leah's pants are pretty tight as far as the legs, the way it looks. So that may be Leah's feet in the fire. I do think that's Leah with her back turned right there in front of Daryl. And we got that shot of Daryl being dragged uh, through like a hallway and stuff like that. So they definitely captured Daryl. And he looks like, you know, this is even worse than when Negan captured him, you know. Um, looks like they really got him tied up. And we did see that one little part where it looks like Dog might get hurt or might get captured with Daryl. Um, I doubt Dog gets killed. I'm not sure if they're intentionally hurting Dog or just trying to catch it. I'm thinking this may be the scene where they take Daryl or fight with Daryl. But I know we all hope nothing happens to Dog. This shot here, um, I'm not sure how close it is to that point of like where they capture him or dog goes missing or makes the noise, that kind of thing. He's got, looks like mud on his face. So Daryl's kind of doing his own thing away from the rest of the group for a while, it looks like. But let's jump into Hilltop. We've got these four people, Jerry, Aaron, Carol, and Lydia. And I don't see anybody else with them. Um, they're at Hilltop, I guess, scavenging for some supplies bunch of walkers they're killing them all but then there's that one shot Lydia hands Aaron a knife and he looks forward like I'm having to stab whatever this is in the head it does look like Jerry standing there to the left of the frame so let's definitely hope it's not Jerry so they're all accounted for Jerry Lydia Aaron and Carol but who is that in front of Aaron is it a walker of somebody that they knew before that they found it looks like they're down in the jail area of Hilltop could it be a whisperer? Could it be a friend or foe? We just don't know. But it does look like Aaron was handed the knife by Lydia, and he's going to have to take care of somebody. No clues yet as to who it is. And we've got Carol doing her crying thing. It looks like a couple different times. It almost looks like a couple different places with a couple of different people. Um, my theory is I think maybe, you know, she's at Hilltop with one of those, possibly, and Alexandria another. I don't know. She could be talking to Kelly. Another one of those mysteries. We don't know who got bit. We don't know who Aaron is about to stab in the head. And we don't know exactly who Carol's talking to. Kelly, it looks like, you know, there's looks like a string with maybe a can or maybe that's the notepad hanging up. Um, it's got to survive the weather, though. 
that notepad that she finds. So it looks like Kelly does find some clues and Connie does show up in the trailer. We just don't know yet if they will actually be reunited before something happens. And in the scene where it looks like Maggie's falling and then the walkers down below her holding their hands up, reaching for her and stuff, this definitely looks like it's at that military base that maybe they go to first before they take the Reaper trip. So Maggie surely survives. It's just a definitely a hairy situation, it looks like. And Connie with a knife coming through the door. It does look like her and Virgil are running. Her and Virgil are together trying to get away from walkers and stuff. But that's a live person. Is it Virgil or is it the Reapers? Most people think it's the Reapers. They think that Connie will be captured by the Reapers and Daryl will find her there. That's very possible. Can't wait to see how it all plays out. And then we got Maggie and the Whisperer Mask. Surely this is some type of strategy to get closer to the Reapers, maybe to spy on them, maybe to get closer to Pope to kill him or get up in the, uh, the Reapers somehow. So I think it's a spy tactic or a kill tactic. Like, you know, she's going to get close to somebody to kill him. But, you know, Negan having the mask with him and Maggie using the mask, definitely interesting. As far as the voiceovers and the characters talking throughout the trailer, you know, it doesn't really say a lot as far as pertaining to a big message. I do see Father Gabriel saying that we're going to fight for the people or we're going to die for our people kind of thing. And it, I don't know if he's talking to a reaper, but the whoever it is says something about being afraid and Gabriel says he's not. So I'm wondering if Gabriel meets his end here. I don't think so because I think we see him in some promo photos at Commonwealth. So it does sound like Gabriel may be saying God isn't here anymore, or that may be the Reaper saying that because of the spray painting stuff on the wall and, you know, the mindset, I think, of the Reapers about the God thing and, and stuff like that. I think there'll be a cool back and forth or something between Gabriel and the Reapers because of that, the God aspect of things, maybe. And then at the very end, of course, uh, Maggie saying, pointing a gun, seemingly at Negan saying, look, the person that left is not the same person that's standing here, so don't mess with me. So there is some tension between Negan and Maggie. Daryl gets split off from the group. Negan and Maggie will be like the de facto leaders, and they will be together, fighting together, saving each other. So that's a, that's a pretty weird trip that we're going to go down as far as Maggie and Negan in these first 8 to 16 episodes. But if there's any little tidbit, anything maybe someone said or did or any frame or shot or scene that you have a question about or want to talk about or a comment about, put it down in the comments below. And I will join you there. Or just stop by and say hello. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff. <laughs>